Hey guys, Justin here with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're installing our new fold-down windshield on this Kawasaki Mule. First, we'll start out with a quick overview of all the parts, hardware, and tools necessary, and then we'll go right into the step-by-step -step process of how to get it put on your machine. Let's get started. Included with your windshield, you'll have an upper panel, an upper tray with two clamps, the center windshield, the lower panel, and two windshield supports, as well as the hardware kit. The tools you'll need include a Phillips screwdriver, a 3H socket and wrench, a 7 16 socket and wrench, and a 17 millimeter socket and wrench, drill and quarter inch bit, and whatever driver you've got available. So we're gonna start by putting your lower panel in place temporarily. We're gonna line up the bolts on each side. And you can just feel those bolts in the holes until it lines up. And then we're gonna take a marker and put a line on the front of the lower panel so that we know where to put our gasket on the machine. We'll go ahead and take that off. And now that we've got a nice line, when we install the gasket, we'll install it on the back side of this line. So we'll start placing our gasket in place. Again, we're gonna put that on the back side of this line, starting at one side, and work our way to the other. The gasket should come pretty well with the correct length, but if you need to, you can always trim that. Just take it right to the end of the line that we just marked. The next thing we're gonna do is remove these lower bolts in the roll cage. Just make sure that you hold on to the nut. We're gonna use that um, as we put the windshield on later. Now we're ready to install our lower panel. So I'm gonna set this up in place on the machine. And in, our, in your hardware kit, came with eight 3 16 spacers. You'll get four on each side. So take your metric bolt and start that in place. Put your four spacers behind it. And then through that hole. And then you'll use that factory nut and get that started by hand. And then we'll go to the other side. Same thing, four spacers. We'll get that started. Get that started by hand and we'll come back and tighten these down a little bit later. So before we start installing our upper panel, we're gonna to have to do a little bit of pre-assembly. So with our 1024 hardware, we'll start by assembling the tray to the upper panel. Start um, on the tray and get these three bolts from the bottom. As always, we're just installing these finger tight and we'll go back and tighten them once we get them all in place. Now that we've got the three on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. And get the other two from the top. While we're working with our 1024 hardware, we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, windshield supports while we're at it. So it's easiest if you set the latches, the latch rubber down towards the bottom and the bolts come in from the top. 
And if you'll notice these two angles, if you, if you put the bracket down with the rubber down, the flange will be facing upward, and these two angles will make a point in the same direction. Once we get this together, we'll do the same thing, or you can do the same thing rather, on the other side. Now that we've got these all started, we're gonna run back through with our 3 8 wrench and our Phillips screwdriver and get those all down, tightened in place. Before we place our upper panel, I've already installed the gasket on top of this upper bar is the same gasket that we used to place the lower panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this, the front panel and tray, right on top of that upper bar and line up the holes on top with the front holes in, the, in this upper roll cage machine bracket. It should sit up there pretty nicely and these holes Line up, again, just installing the hardware loosely. And we'll get the same thing on the other side. So to finish off the upper panel, we just need to place our clamps in place. So you're gonna fit that right around the roll cage bar, and then place your bolts from the front. Finger tight, and do the same on the other side. Now that we've got all the hardware started, we're gonna go ahead and tighten everything down. Just make sure that this center panel is lined up in the center of the machine. And then start with your upper brackets with your 3 8 ratchet and a 7 16 wrench and get everything tightened down. Next, we're gonna move on to the center glass. Uh, to do that, I'm going to get a little help from Chris here. We don't recommend doing this by yourself. The glass is pretty heavy, and obviously we don't want it to break. So, all right. So when we set this in place, we're going to use the stainless steel hardware um, on these stainless steel hinges. It's a quarter 20 truss head and the quarter 20 flange, and the quarter 20 nylock nut. When you tighten those down, you don't want to take it all the way tight. You want to give it a little bit of room so that these hinges function properly. So if you remember, we left our lower bolts loose so that we could allow for some adjustment now that we got the rest of the pieces assembled. We want this tight up against the gasket, but also at the same time, you want to look underneath on the inside to make sure that your latch is fully engaged. Um, what you'll notice is that the bend part of this um, latch lines up with the bottom of the upper panel so that the flats uh, sit nicely together. So now that we've got those in place, we're going to take our 17 millimeter and tighten this down. Next, we're going to move on to the installation of the window supports. To do that, we're going to place our support um, right here on the, on the hood of the vehicle. As you can tell, we've already got holes drilled because this has been previously in installed. So we're just gonna go through this. And I've got Chris here to help me put the window down um, so we can make sure it's in place. What you wanna look for is to make sure that the bend line is, is lined up with the uh, crease here in the plastic panel. And also that the front line here matches up with the, with the headlight plastics. You line up those two things and that's gonna get you pretty close. And then most importantly, what you're gonna wanna do is bring your windshield down and make sure that this latch lines up closely to the windshield itself. There is a little bit of play there because this is a rubber bracket, so it's not hypercritical, but just make sure that is close. Now that we've got that where we want it in place, we're gonna mark these holes and get those drilled with a quarter inch drill bit. So now that we've got our holes marked and drilled, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, bolt 
our support in place. Again, using our quarter 20 hardware. It's easiest just to go ahead and start all of your bolts from the outside. And then we'll have to reach from the, from the hood here and reach through and get all these started. Once you get these all started, you're gonna reach through with your 7 16 box end wrench and a 3 8 ratchet on the outside to tighten those in place. Now that we've got our bolts tightened up and in place, we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now that our install's all wrapped up, don't forget to go to razorbackoffroad.com and check out our fitment list for the Kawasaki Mule for all of our other accessories that might go with your machine. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. There you can keep up with all of the accessories and cool new things we've got coming out. So thanks again. Hope to see you out on the trail.